We begin with an alert from the front lines. According to the state, there are now less than 20 available ICU beds for all four Valley counties. And tonight we are hearing from an Edinburgh family. They say their loved one was moved from an ICU bed to make room for another COVID patient. Channel 5's Thumbie Verma has her story. This is Jessica Sanchez's once happy family, but everything changed for them overnight when her husband, Fernando Sanchez, started showing symptoms of COVID. He started kind of hallucinating and he started um, falling everywhere, falling asleep. He started, you know, just kind of out of it. He spent 26 days at Edinburgh Regional, though his wife says it feels more like 26 years. It's been extremely, extremely difficult. I mean, you don't know what these people are doing to him. I mean, he's completely alone in there. And Sanchez tells us after her husband had been in the hospital for a couple of weeks, he was taken out of the ICU to make space for other COVID patients who were worse off. My husband gets really bad anxiety. So he tends to take off the mask all the time. In ICU, they're constantly watching you. And in a regular room, it's not the same. And not long after that, she got the phone call she had been dreading. Her husband's condition had deteriorated. I got a call from the doctor telling me, well, you know what? Prepare for the worst because your husband has a 30% chance of survival. Leaving Fernando's family, who can't see him in person due to the highly contagious virus, feeling helpless. And, and they're so alone that it's, it's very hard and, and I'm sure everybody's going to do the same thing. As of today, Texas Department of State Health Services data shows the Valley has a total of just 18 ICU beds left. Dr. Sujin Gogu works the McAllen and Laredo emergency rooms and he says the surge of the Delta variant is hurting patients' ability to recover. And right now we're seeing all across the state of Texas that beds are becoming very full. It hurts that patient because they can't get specialists to access them, they can't get certain procedures that need to be done. Dr. Gogu says non-COVID patients are affected as well. If you're trying to go to an emergency room, um, uh, I'm sure there's a little bit of a wait because there's so many other patients that are far sicker. Dr. Gogu says it's also possible we'll have to give out our bed space to areas that are suffering even more. For example, Laredo, there's only three ICU beds that are left. If you need an ICU level of care, I think um, that's really difficult um, to, to, to get that type of bed. We also reached out to Edinburgh Regional for comment and they sent us a statement that says in part, they do not remove critically ill patients from the ICU unless they no longer need intensive care. But because of HIPAA laws, they couldn't comment on specific patients. Then Verma, Channel 5 News at 6.